Despite the threat of potential misuse, Nampa Fire Chief Phil Roberts says and, it's not uh, fair to enforce the illegal fireworks ban right now. My difficulty with this is the letter coming out after we had already approved every booth, uh, the applications were in. We last Friday was the last uh, booth that we inspected. Uh, they were legal to sell on Saturday, and on Tuesday we get this letter. There are not a lot of illegal fireworks stands in Canyon County, but the ones that are there continue to sell. The same goes for the stands in the Middleton city limits, where law enforcement seems to agree that the timing of the ban was poor for people who have spent months preparing. And if they had told you six months ago, would you have been able to roll with the punches, per se? Oh, yes. We would have found another, another hobby or job as this is, yeah. or we would have, you know, worked as usual at our normal job. Robert says even if the ban is not implemented yes. this year, he hopes it remains for next year. We support everything about the letter other than the timing. All the stands we contacted that still sell aerial fireworks say they have been left alone, including the biggest Rocky Mountain Fur and Fireworks, although they tell us the AG's decision has, at least so far, scared away a lot of business.